On June 2014, Honorable Prime Minister of India, Shri Narendra Modi, made his maiden foreign trip to Bhutan. During his visit, the Prime Minister announced comments of India's assistance for establishment of e-library across the country to make the educational contents easily accessible for students with the implementation of information and communication technologies. The Center for Development of Advanced Computing, a scientific society under the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology of India was appointed as the implementing agency for the project. In 2016, e-libraries was established in 49 schools with three number of desktops, one server, one LED TV and 12 colleges with five desktops, one server and other supporting network infrastructure across Bhutan to provide a platform to access e-contents from local cache in offline mode as well as from central repository in online mode. The section provides wired and wireless connectivity to access e-library on user devices. In July 2016, the e-library portal was made available online to access key to 12 e-contents. The web portal can be accessed on any web browser independent of hardware specifications of the device. On September 5, 2016, the Indo-Bhutan e-library project was formally inaugurated by the former Honorable Minister for Education, Lembo Nobuwanchu, and former Indian Ambassador to Bhutan, His Excellency Sri Jaydeep Sarkar at Motitang Higher Secondary School in Tempo. In October 2016, the e-library studio was established in the Department of Youth and Sports and handed over to Ministry of Education under the Royal Government of Bhutan. The e-library studio is equipped with the latest digitization equipment for creating e-content. The e-library studio team trained under the project has the capability to digitize contents in the form of e-books, audios, videos, infographics, etc. In 2017, on-site training and use and management of e-library was conducted by experts at all e-library setups across Bhutan and also e-libraries were updated with more content. New e-contents are continuously being created at e-library studio. The Ministry of Education and Royal Education Council are also sharing the existing contents for enhancement and are being uploaded in the e-library portal for wider reach. As of now, more than 2,400 digital contents have been uploaded in the e-library portal. Schools are monitored and encouraged regularly to utilize e-library setups in their premises for better outreach.